Welcome back, boys and girls, to uh, Outside of the Greenhouse. We're taking it a little out of the greenhouse today. Um, I'm Lewis Cipher, in case you uh, are meeting me for the first time. I'm thinking about taking a slightly different format here, more of a uh, podcast. I'm not entirely certain what I'm gonna do. There's a lot of things I'm not certain about. I'm not certain about the quality of recording of this microphone. Even though it's like a $60 Shure microphone connected to a uh, several hundred dollar audio recorder, I'm not entirely certain of the quality I'm gonna get out of this because I can't see the little peaks. To go in a slightly different direction today, my thought really was discussing the hurdles they get in your way when you're trying to do your own thing. You know, as someone who has been battling depression for a good long time and has a full-time job and two delightfully irritating children, one of which I actually have here in the studio with me today. I, I think you've met Mara in previous videos. Say hi, wave, whatever, do something. Hi. You know, it's, it's tough. Um, finding time for yourself and to do what you need to do. When you work nine hours a day, commute on top of that, and then you come home and you have to help your daughter with her homework, which honestly, I'm 41 and I have long ago forgotten how to do long division. <laughs> I can't wait until she gets into high school because I would be completely lost. Not that I was ever good at math or anything like that. Trying to keep your relationships going while at the same time, trying to make your business happen, trying to get out and make your product, trying to make sales, trying to keep your website up to date. There's so many things. I mean, I spent a good hour today just helping Mara with her homework. Hell, I'm just barely getting back into the greenhouse. The greenhouse required so many renovations after spending the entire summer, most of the spring, and a not small portion of the fall abandoned because I couldn't go in there because I had a nasty surgery. I mean, Wicked scars, though. And there's no telling how that's going, because I can't even uh, do much by way of heavy lifting at the moment. Let's talk about what we are here to showcase. Make sure you look at the camera, because it's important for you to look at the camera. So, really, what we're here in this short video to showcase, or to, to discuss at any rate, is how we get by, how we get past all these difficulties to try and continue making our own gig thrive because you know as well as I do that I I mean I like my job right but that doesn't mean I want to actually keep doing that for the rest of my life I got my own thing going on I'm an artist and I want to make art for a living and wouldn't it be awesome if I could stay home and spend more time with you yes. and we could go out and do more stuff yes. you know what it's gonna take to do more stuff not spending nine hours a day at a day job. Oh. Although you don't really see much of it because you're at school the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's school? Good. You got any, anything better than good for us? Um, I've been getting done with a lot of studies and... What do you study? I study, for example, I have economy and assessment tomorrow. Oh. And Is that one of those big tests? Yes. It's like 13 questions. Oh, that's not very big. I know. I um, mean, it's a test, but it's not that big. And so, it's math, and math lately for me has been really tricky. Yeah. And well, I mean, they're really kind of shotgunning your math out there these days. Like, they, they teach you a new strategy every day. and you Sometimes don't. I don't. Sometimes we're working on the same thing. Oh, that's good. Um. But, I mean... You want a YouTube channel too, right? You've got a YouTube mm -hmm. channel. Why don't you tell, tell our viewers what your YouTube channel is? Zombie Princess Mara. Now, what do you do on your YouTube channel? Um, I don't really do much but dance. I have two videos where I'm singing, but it sounds like I'm mouthing the words because I really need the song on for me to sing it, not just like. Um, it's not like it's karaoke, but, yeah. Huh. 
then you'd like more time to do more of your YouTube videos and stuff, right? Yes, but I'm mostly at school or playing with my friends or playing with the new dog we got. Oh, yeah, the dog's adorable. You've probably seen a picture of on my so Instagram. It's so fluffy. If you haven't seen one on my Instagram, so Instagram.com um, slash Lewis Cipher BTRC, which stands for Behind the Raven's Camera. We're kind of really running with this raven theme. Uh, he's an absolutely adorable Alaskan husky. He's going to be our adventure dog anyway. He's so cute. Oh, and we have a cat. Well, yes, they've been our cat, actually. Well, I don't know. Not I mean, our cat, it's mommy's cat. I actually was... Um, sorry, my foot was in a weird <laughs> position. Um, I actually uh, watched a video recently where they were talking about how I shouldn't assume that my viewers have ever heard of me. That I should have, because actually I've got what, like 25 followers, so I'm sure 25 of you have heard of me. I have less than Well, it took me, I don't know how long to get to 25, I'd imagine. Um, I it takes a little like, while. I probably have 7 followers now. I don't uh, We haven't been keeping track of my YouTube channel lately. Yeah, well, it happens. But all things considered, there's a lot of difficulties to really getting out there. And um, sadly, I don't have any good strategies for overcoming them. So if you have any good strategies for overcoming them, please leave it in the comments. I could use all the help I can get. Yeah, sometimes I just don't really know where to go from here. I almost don't even know the point of this video. Wait, what? Do you remember the point of this video? Did you ever know the point of this video? No. Are we just bullshitting to the camera and we're going to put it on YouTube like a bunch of dumbasses? I think, I don't really know, but... Sounds like a yes. 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 Wait, I remember the point of the video. Oh. No. Telling them all of the um, difficulties in your life. Well, not so much the difficulties in my life, because there's plenty of difficulties in my Maybe life. Like video, or knowing the your point, business. The point of making these videos is to reveal what it's like trying to trying to raise a family and and live our lives while striving to make our living as independent artists and sadly I still have a full-time day job and sadly it pays way more than my art does at the moment you know there's one of the difficulties the real difficulty at the end of the day is time never enough hours in the day how long ago did you get done with your homework because you'll notice it's dark outside I um, came back at like 4:30. Because you had what after school? Ballet you had on ballet. Mondays. Okay. Ballet. I have flocorico. I have, and tomorrow I have green team. Oh. So tell me about green team. Well, what we do on green team is pick up all this stuff around the school, around outside. Okay. Let me give you a better way to phrase this. On green team. <clears throat> on green team. We, we help to keep the environment clean and we strive to be green and environmentally friendly. So what's fun, boys and girls, is we have all this new gear that is really sort of targeted towards, um, targeted towards doing um, podcast type videos. I mean, granted, I have lots of good gear for continuing to make my glass blowing instructional videos. Um, as a matter of fact, I have a plan for a couple more videos to come out in the next couple weeks. Now that I've finally gotten the greenhouse back functional again. But back to all this new gear, I've got, well, I've got this mic, which um, only seems to peak on the recorder if I hold it up to my face. Like I'm supposed to just be singing to it like this. I don't know. I put a microphone on top of the camera because I don't know what I'm going to get out of this. Um, I've also got a studio boom mic that should be here in the next day or two that's really meant for podcasts. I've got a nice audio recorder over here, a uh, four-track Tascam audio recorder that will uh, allow me to definitely get higher quality audio to you. I have my own camera. And Mara has her own camera. Um, Mara's camera is a little better for still photography than it is for videos, being a... But it can be for videos. It, it can, can absolutely do videos. videos. It is a Canon T3, which is capable of videos. Mm. Not, not a bad camera, especially for a 10-year-old. Uh, hey, I thought you are not supposed to say your age on um, YouTube. What does that have to do? Why not? To be protected. I'm 41. 
You're 10. I know, but still. Well, they can look at you and tell that you're somewhere between like 10 or 8 11. and 12. Yeah, exactly. I'm a preteen. You're not even a preteen, you're a child. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up now that Mara stepped off frame and started playing with a tripod because she honestly has as much fun with the damn gear as she has actually making the videos. So I'm going to wrap this up. Hopefully I got enough out about the difficulties that we face in making these videos and keeping them coming out. Just understand that that's part of why they're not coming out to the schedule that I would like is because it's kind of difficult to do working 50 hours a week and having two children and I guess that's kind of the point of this channel isn't it is to demonstrate all of that stuff so, and then I watched uh what's his name Sean Cannell I watched a Sean Cannell video today that I've probably watched two or three times before already Sorry, look at you over here making a whole bunch of noise we're making a bunch of noise off screen Sorry. he's over here playing with one of these tripods I'm trying to put it away well maybe you wait until I'm done with the video to start banging around just saying. Sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. Should I leave? No, you should stay here. I want to leave. No, it's too bad. Okay. So, yeah, I watched this um, Sean Cannell video today that I've probably watched three or four times before. And one of the things that he really wants to stress is just press record and make videos. So, here we are. Hopefully, I got something useful across in this video. If not, it's at least slightly entertaining. And if not, I got some good practice in. Cheers.